there, I'm Chris Ture from Manly Laboratories, and uh, this is an exclusive video for Audio Advisor. I'm here today to talk about the Stingray iTube, which is our uh, newest incarnation of our most popular hi-fi integrated stereo amplifier, the Stingray, which first swam from our labs in 1997. Uh, it's been uh, a very good seller since then. People really like it. It's very small. It's a nice bedroom system, desktop, office, kitchen, things like that. Basically, this is as I said, our latest iteration. So I'm gonna push this button right here to have it power up. You see some nice little glowing LEDs here. It blinks to let you know that it's warming up. And as it's warming up, which is just a few seconds of a process, I'll tell you about this amp. We've got 12 AT7 um, input tubes right here. We have the driver tubes, which are uh, 6414s or 5965s. And then there are the EL84 output tubes. The EL84 is a very musical tube and we've designed these output transformers specifically to complement those tubes. So there's four per channel. This is really two monoblocks in one chassis. We've designed it so that the separate inputs for left and right are on each side of the back here, completely separate signal paths. There's amazing channel separation. The imaging is wonderful. It's a very, very nice sounding amplifier and it's a very big 40 watts when you're in ultra linear mode, which is one of two modes. You can also run it in triode. There's a little switch on the back here, which I'll show you in a moment. One of the big adaptations we've made to uh, come into the modern era with this amplifier is that not only do we have our CA inputs on the back, but we also have an input for an iPod or iPhone on the top. But basically you plug in, there it is, and there's Stevie Wonder. And if you want to play it, you can either push play on here after selecting your input source with this selector switch just here on the left, you pick your volume with this right here. The glowing LEDs you'll see can tell you exactly where your volume is. You can do this all on the front panel or you can use our handy remote control, which is RF or IR. What that means is that you can point it at it and push volume to make it work like so, or you can put it in another room in the kitchen, off camera, wherever, and use it and it still works. Goes through walls, goes all over your house. Very handy, you can skip tracks with it. Um, if I had more tracks from this record on here, then it would have skipped tracks just now, but uh, as of right now, it's only Don't You Worry About a Thing, which you can't hear anyways in this because that would be copyright infringement. So anyways, you can do your input selection on here. There's the iPod inputs one, two, and three on the back panel. There's a headphone jack right here that's a really fantastic sounding headphone output if you need some quiet listening time and you don't want to bother your family or neighbors. There is uh, an S-Video output jack here on the side in case you've got videos on an iPod or an iPhone and you want to send it out to a television, you can do that. Um, there's an insert switch here where there's a send and return loop on the back, which you can read more about on uh, our website or on the Audio Advisor website. There's a dim switch, which uh, lowers your volume to a predetermined level so that you, uh, if the phone rings, you don't want to, you know, shut everything off or if someone knocks on the door or if your neighbors are yelling at you to turn down your music. Uh, there's a mute switch, of course, and there's also power, which I will turn off right now. And um, that just about does it for the iTube. As I said earlier, I am Chris DeRay from Manly Laboratories, and this has been an exclusive video for Audio Advisor.